Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Zero Strategy Gamer and welcome to Taskmaster. Now this is going to be a new format where every Tuesday I will be taking on a couple of other YouTubers in a design contest in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. So we all get the same task to design and then lead into battle uh, a ship in this little game over here and we're going to see who does best in various terms. You can find all the links to their uh, channels and so on in the description down below. I'm going to go ahead with the task here, I'm going to read that out to you. Uh, then we need to show you one thing and then we can go into designing our ship. So here's the task. It is 1935 and you have been tasked with designing a brand new pocket battleship Heavy Cruiser for the Kriegsmarine. This ship is to be designed to hunt the merchantmen of our enemies right across the globe. We do not have the luxury of port facilities far and wide, so the ship must have a very long range. Resources are limited, not in terms of money, but also the technology and specialists in the shipyards. In his wisdom, the Kaiser has decreed that you will have 40 points available to spend according to the following cost and matrix. See attached file. So here we do need to look at the other file. Uh, you'll find a link to that in uh, the description below. But this is basically the setup here. So we do get 40 points which we can then use on our ship in a moment. So that means for example we can go for let's say standard bulkheads and that is going to cost us 2 points. We can then go further for, go for gear turbines and that is going to cost us 1 point and so on and so forth and we have a total budget of 40 points to spend across all of these categories. So we will need to make some strategic trade-offs and that is basically the task at hand here. So that is the layout. Here's the second part. Now at sea, one of your ships, after a successful start of the war raiding convoys, spots three enemy ships of the United Kingdom, one heavy cruiser, two light cruiser at a distance of 20 kilometers, moving in to engage. Defeat them without taking serious damage and return to the fatherland with all due haste. So, that does mean fastest time to sink all enemy ships wins, provided your ship has at least 50% structure left and it can make at least 18 knots at the end of the battle, otherwise you've taken too much damage. So in essence, this design contest here is very much focused on providing the German Kriegsmarine with a radar. I'm not entirely sure while well, in 1935 the Kaiser is still around, probably some, some Kaiserreich modification here. Um, but basically we need to design that. So we are going to hit custom battle over here and I have prepared that already. So it is 1935, we are fighting at a distance of 20 kilometers against the British Empire. They've got one heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, we've got one heavy cruiser. Our task uh, is going to be to design that in a way that this will win. So we're going to hit design ship over here. So that does uh, give us this uh, very beautiful platform here. And we do need to change a couple of things here. But before we go on and do anything, uh, what I want to start with here is we do need to start with a very long range. So that is uh, basically the scenario setup. And then I want to set everything here to the lowest standard. So basically that it doesn't incur us any points. And I think... This is basically it, so that should all be without any points here. No, auxiliary one actually, and I think, ooh, uh, I do need to turn down the audio here, I think, a bit. So, shaft one and auxiliary one, these things do not cost us any point, that is basically free. So that's fine, semi all is free, all of this is okay, but that I think we are looking at a one. So that's going to be alright, onto to be the defences, I don't think any are fine. Now actually, anti torpedo defenses 1 would actually be okay. The question is, do we risk it uh, and maybe not even use that? Uh, I want to use it for now, simply so that we do have a good, good sort of setup here. Uh, Citadel 3 should be fine. anti flooding defenses, I think that's a 1. Um, and standard bulkheads, yeah, that is of course a 1. So that's all pretty much unchanged. Uh, and then in terms of shells, we would need to go for light, we would need to go for reduced. Uh, we would need to go for lidite too, we've got that. Uh, we would need to go for torpedoes. I think that would be reduced, yeah, it does say reduced. Right, and then in all of these other terms, uh, it's basically gonna be uh, nothing, I think. Oh, it doesn't have it actually say anything. No, 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 it does. Hydraulics is simply hydraulics. Yeah, okay, so that's basically standard. And in terms of range finders, uh, we've got the C variant, that's that's for free. Can't actually pick that, that's going to be alright. 
We can pick Hydro 3 here for free, so we're gonna do that. And in terms of radar, we don't have any radar for free, I would guess. The RDF would be... The RDF would be free. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's something that we'd want to do anyway. Right, so since we have done that now, let's actually get to designing the ship. We need to destroy a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. So obviously we're gonna start here with the sort of equipment that we do need anyway. That is gonna be the modern tower here. And then we also do need a secondary tower. So we're going to add a secondary tower here. I think we're going to go for the slightly better one. Uh, we are not re actually restricted here in terms of costs or, or tonnage. So I think that's going to be all right. And that does probably mean we're going to dial up the tonnage here just to the maximum. In terms of funnel, I think we're going to start here with an Uber funnel. We might want to switch that later on. But that's going to be all right for now. Good. So that setup for now does look kind of fine. Of course, we do need some weaponry. Uh, let's take a look here at the main guns uh, which we've got. So we can only actually pick 11-inch guns. Doesn't look like any of these are better. So obviously we're going to pick 11-inch guns um, if that's the best that we can do. We can actually use them sort of on the elevated level here. But I do think we probably want to shift all of this stuff here a little bit to the rear. Let's actually check. So we can hit, bring one of you to the front there. That's going to be all right. And then let's try it another thing. So we've got triple turrets. We've got four triple turrets at the moment. Question is, can I fit in another one over here? We can't bring up the range here any further. We can't bring you closer to the front there. We could potentially bring you a little bit to the front here, like such. Yeah, does that allow us to fit in one more thing over here? Maybe if we turn it? Okay, that's that's kind of funny. We could we could bring it in, but it wouldn't be able to turn all the way. We could do it like that. I'm not entirely sure whether we could actually turn it around to face the other way. Uh, but this way we do at least get five turrets in here. So, kind of a funny design, I'm going to give you that. Uh, but it is within our limits. And the weight here is okay-ish. Uh, we do have 2,000 tons to spare. That's not a lot. Uh, specifically because I do probably want at least a couple of underwater torpedo tubes here. Um, that doesn't do too much for us. But we might actually want to also add a couple of deck torpedo tubes here. To maybe get rid of the enemy a little bit more aggressively. So that's 15 torpedo tubes per side. So I think that is going to be alright. Yeah, let's do it like that. I think I like it. Good design. Okay, uh, we do want to grab a couple of secondaries, obviously, here. I don't think 5-inch guns are going to fit anywhere, but maybe 4-inch guns do. No? So only 3-inch guns? Okay, might as well call that the AA. It won't do much for us. Not even against the light cruisers. But there we go. Okay, so I think this is this is fairly fine. It's it's a bit of a glass cannon here, but uh, we're going to fix that up. So here are going to be the first things uh, that we are going to change and where we're going to use our points. Because obviously we do need to use a couple of points simply to make this a little bit more of a viable ship. Um, and while it's okay sort of aggressi aggressively, I don't think the defenses are good enough. So... What I do want to do is I want to use Crop Armor 4. That's the best armor that's possible. Um, simply because we do need to make sure that we're actually going to survive this. So I think that's that's fine. That's the first one over here. That already does cost us 3 points from armor. So let's mark that down. Then what I want to do is I want to use the much better Citadel 5 here. So that's basically an all or nothing armored scheme. So that should be okay. How much does that cost us? Another two point uh, for the Citadel, so let's mark that down. That's five points in total. I think that's going to be all right. Um, I do want to go for at least... I do like many bulkheads. And that is going to cost us another three for the bulkheads. Uh, we are now to eight. And that's wrapping up quickly, as you can see. So that is going to cost us quite a bit already. Um, I do think I want to go for heavy shells, which probably is going to be another two points here. 
uh, that we do need to spend. I actually need to look at the cheat sheet here. Yeah. So that's another two point, and thereby ten in total for the shells. I'll need to note that down. There we go. Um, and then we've got the... I think we want to go for the standard layout here. So that's uh, another one for the shell. Uh, up to 11 at this point. And let's look at the explosives here. I don't think we're going to go for Lidite. It's got HE shells. And I think what we would rather, rather want um, is a little bit more shell damage as such. And not so much a reduction in penetration. So I'm actually thinking tube powder is going to be the best um, that we can. We could of course go for TNT, and there's something to be said about TNT, plus 12% damage. But on the other hand, plus 5% damage, plus 11% penetration. Do we need that against light cruisers? I don't know, but I like it. It's generally kind of a good good layout, I think. So the tube powder, how much, how much does that cost us? So that should be around three points. Okay, 14 in total, three for the a moment. Right, good, okay. What else do we need? Well, we definitely need better rangefinders. And I'm wondering whether we should pick the long range ones or the short range ones. And I'm tempted to go for the short range ones because we might want to go, go in and get sort of personal uh, with these guys here and um, that would of course cost us quite a bit that is going to be another four points here uh, for the rangefinder so 18 in total that's almost two, half of our points here we might go for the longer distance one coincidence heavy and more expensive well let's let's go for the short range version here for a second um, and do we want to go for radar I think we do I think it's just generally a very good thing. Yeah, but we are overweight now, so we do need to start saving some weight at some place. So, uh, that's basically... What we're right, wait a minute. So, the radar here comes in at another whooping three points. Uh, so, here up to 21. Um, since we are overweight here, we do actually do need to do something here about the uh, engines. And that is probably going to be the gas turbines. I don't think diesel are going to be much better yet. They can't actually increase the weight. Um, so we're going to go with gas turbines here, gas turbines 2, uh, which is going to cost us another couple of points to do that. That's going to be another two points here uh, for the turbines. Up to 23 at this point, so we are really starting to struggle here, uh, a little bit at least. Right, nevertheless, uh, we are within our weight limit here. We do have a very decent speed. I don't think we actually need that much speed, honestly. Um, I think if we're dialing that down to 30 knots, that's probably going to be okay. And it's going to uh, save us some weight over here. And there's no, sort of, no limit on that. So that is good, I think. We can actually check here on the weight of the, tow uh, of the engines. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Engine efficiency is kind of low. Um, so I do think we'll probably need to do something about our boilers. Induced would be sufficient. That is going to be, I think, another point that we're going to pay. Uh, to go there, yeah. So boilers, one more point. We are up to 24 points here. Um, and it's slightly, slightly weird for them this time around, but I think it's going to be all right. So all in all, 24 points. That's actually kind of okay. I think we might want to go oil here. That is, of course, going to cost us another point, but it's going to save us quite a bit. So, yeah, we're going to go for oil at another point, 25 points. That does leave us with 15 points to spare, which isn't too bad, actually. So, happy about that so far. Question is, do we want to actually upgrade anything over here? Now, the... Auxiliary engines, I do like to see that. That is, it, it is useful to, to have these ship repairs and the pumping um, and so on. But I think ultimately we might want to prevent damage from coming in in the first place. And we might want to think about using long range guns here. Yeah, we do have a lot of high caliber guns, so we're actually going to go for this. That's going to push up the weight here, but it's not going to cost us another point. It's going to be the same here. Question is then about hydraulics and, and that... I don't think it is going to make much of a difference, so I'm going to keep that as is. We do want to think about our torpedoes, though. 
Now we do have 15 or so per side. I tend to like the fast ones, even though they bring down range. But I think over here we might be better off with electric ones, because they simply are going to have a much, much lower detection range, and it might surprise them a little bit more. So electric torpedoes then. And I honestly hate putting torpedoes on capital ships, but it's just how it is this time around. So I think we're going to do that, and that is going to cost us how much? White powder, enhanced, similar to electric bear, two points. Okay, two points for electric torpedoes. Up to 27 in total. Um, it's okay, we are, we are still in, in range here. Do we want to get upgrade the torpedo weight? Now, let's save that and, and park that question here for a second. Uh, because I don't think we need to be too concerned about that. So, the bigger question is then, do we want to go for slightly better protection here? Right, how, if, how much would that cost us? That's going to cost us 600 tons, but I do think that's going to be a super useful um, tool here. So, we're going to go for reinforced bulkheads, which probably is going to cost us another two points, I would guess, if I understand all of this correctly, and I think it does. Right, so bulkheads, that's another two so, up to 29, 11 more points to spend. It's not actually that bad. I would have expected that we're a little bit uh, pushed more a little bit here, uh, in a way. Right. So, anything that we want to upgrade sort of drastically. Hydraulics. Yeah, I mean, the torpedo spotting range is extremely useful. And it's not actually that much weight. So, how about sonar 2? For how much costs? I think two, but let me double check. Don't want to make any mistake here. Yeah, so now that is going to cost us another two, up to 31, and hopefully I should be fine over here. Right, high TNT, reload time, shell penetration. How much would that save us in terms of? It's only going to save us 200 tons over here. Shell damage is much higher. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for high TNT. So in s then for the for the ammo, we're gonna get another two two things over here. So we are effectively at 33, and that should be fine. Speed is okay. We can add a lot more armor, and I'm gonna do that in a moment as soon as I'm happy with this one over here. Right, I do think I think we might phase one torpedo here. So if we're gonna go to a double bottom or even to a triple bottom. Let's go to a double bottom. That is, I think, going to cost us another point. Um, I'm going to say that, at least. So that does bring us up to 34. And let me actually check that. So, yeah, the double one does cost us one. It's always the same, but I just want to make sure uh, that all of that does work out. We've got the reduced ammo torpedoes. Um, we might want to bring that up. It's going to be 500 tons. I think it's going to be fine. We do have more than enough torpedoes anyway, I believe. Right, um, how much would that cost here in terms of tonnage before we do it? 300 tons? I don't think we're going to do that, actually. We are down to, we, ha we have six more points to spend here, and I'm not sure whether we're actually going to do that. We could, of course, go to maximum here. How much more is that in terms of weight? 500 tons or so. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be too bad though. I'm slightly concerned here about our speed. It is kind of low, uh, but I do want to keep at least some tonnage here um, to increase our potential weight issues. So this is still going to drive up, so we're not going to use that. We're going to go for this stuff. Yeah, but I think we are fine here. I do not want to increase my torpedo defenses because again, I think it's going to cost us too much um, in terms of... You know what? Let's go for one more torpedo load, um, simply to to increase our chances of making it out at a decent speed. We're up to 35 points now, if I'm not mistaken. So all of that should be fine. And what else then? I think all in all we are fine over here. We could think about other boilers, maybe. Let's actually check the engine efficiency. It's at 100% here. It would still remain at 100%, but it would bring on... Yeah, no, I think induced is perfectly lovely. We could think about another 
funnel, actually. We are using the uber funnel. How about using the mega funnel instead? Yeah, see, that's still 100%, so that's great. How about, let's say, the advanced funnel? Would that even work? No. Okay, so advanced funnel is too little. Maybe the big funnel is going to be enough. 93.8. Okay, you know what? We are going to use the mega funnel here. It does save us some weight, so that's good. It's another 100 tons or so, so that is not too bad, actually. Right, I am kind of happy about this setup, um, so what we might actually want to do then is simply increase the torpedo size here by two notches. Let's say one notch, 19 inches. So up to 36 points. That seems to be fine. And I think we are we off to a good start here. So we're actually a little bit below what we need. 37, 38 points due to the flooding. It's going to be all right. So two more points for anything. We've got the best armor here. We've got the high TNT. We've got the standard layout here. I don't think we, we need any more. So the big question is what are we going to do here in these terms? And now our main guns do have a range here um, of certainly enough. So I think that's going to be okay. Turrets, fine, fine. Turret top should actually be a little bit l higher than the deck armor in my book. So that is going to be a right standard belt here. Let's bring that up to four inches. Um, and I do think we're going to try to come in relatively close here um, and hope that we are going to survive the engagement by just pushing at them relatively aggressively. Um, turret armor does need to be increased. Let's bring that up to nine inches. And of course, the conning tower does need to be higher than the belt. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be looking a little bit weird. Right, okay, let's bring the conning tower up to ten inches. I'm not too concerned about the turrets. Five inches here on the extended belt. Yeah, beautiful. I like it. Right. So, I count 38 points. Um, I think that's going to be fine. So, yeah, let's go ahead and launch this battle and see what is going to happen. Uh, do we need to be concerned about this offset here? I don't think so. I think it's going to be alright. It's a it's a very funny ship overall, you know, with how many how many guns it has five triple turrets, so fifteen guns, fifteen more than fifteen torpedo tubes on each side. I don't know guys. I don't I really don't know. Right, let's see whether we can sink them all and survive this at fifteen percent or so. Unfortunately we are starting the battle here uh, with them being in this rearward position. So we do need to take a turn here to the side. Uh, I'm going to bring that down immediately towards uh, um, cruising speed here uh, so that we do have a little bit more of a stable platform here. Right, we've got these three guys. I think we're going to start our guns on... Are you running away from us, actually? You seem to be running away. And let's look at what the AI, AI has in store for us. Of course, a weirdly, weirdly, weirdly set up triple turret design here. Another triple turret design here, so that's presumably the light cruisers, and I'm guessing that this one is the heavy cruiser. Looks a little bit heavier. Yeah, I think so. So what have you got? You've got two inch guns, you've got four inch guns, you've got eight inch guns, and then you presumably have something much bigger? Much, much bigger? Much, 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 much bigger? No, come on. What have you got? You can't only have 8-inch guns, do you? I think you do. I think all you have is 8-inch guns. And then you guys have 6-inch guns. Okay, fine. Right, uh, let's come around and try to meet them then. Uh, I'm fairly optimistic. You know what, let's try to go this way. Right, there we go. We are starting here. It's 10 hours. Uh, let's see how fast we can do that. Um, and I do think this, this number here uh, counts and not, let's say, the, the in-game number. Right, um, I do think I want to start by attacking the heavy cruiser here. Can we see anything about torpedo tubes on, on these guys? They might very well have underwater torpedo tubes. 
Can't see anything here. You guys do have a very weird setup of secondaries as well, and tertiary guns. But I cannot spot any any overwater torpedo tubes, so let's see about that. Right, and notably we are coming in here, remember, <laughs> with us being on a on a lower setting than, than we that we could actually do. There you can see sort of our three rear turrets in action, that's lovely to see. And um, of course as we are swinging about over here, uh, we are going to have some issues uh, with uh, sort of command and, and control and good and accurate targeting. Okay, yeah, these are the light cruisers. We do know now because uh, they've started to smoke here, which definitely does mean uh, we can engage these guys here. Right, what's our torpedo range? It's 12 kilometers, so that's not too bad actually. I think we do have the oxygen ones, right? Right, I think we do. Right. Front turrets should come into action any moment now. Oh yeah, they have potentially already fired. I do see some shells throwing there to the enemy cruiser. Let's see what is going to happen. Right. Relatively low chance to hit actually here. I'm not sure, did we actually in the end increase the... Ooh, ooh that looks... Ah, that looks kind of close actually. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit better once we do come to a better speed here. And remember, we do have a lot of guns uh, pointing at this guy. Still, <laughs> all of our guns, all of our 15 guns, only have a 7% chance of hitting uh, this gentleman here. Even though we are um, pretty much at our cruise speed here. So, let's see about this. I think they're going to start to close in very rapidly now. Uh, let's actually accelerate the timing here a little bit. Doesn't do much for our task at hand, but it does uh, do a little bit for entertainment. Right, yeah, okay, you are just way too slow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in a little bit more like such. To close in the distance um, and maybe, you know what, we're going to just drive at them, I think. Uh, that does mean we can't use all of our rear guns, uh, but I think it's going to be useful to get a little bit more um, in action here. Because the 0.4% hit chance, that's just really, really way too low. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be alright. Let's try to go there. That should be okay. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go for, for maximum speed here. So we're not going to do a lot of damage here as we are closing in. Uh, but once we are a little bit closer, I think our hit chance here is going to improve so much that in fact we might have the better deal here. And in fact, um, if we could send some torpedoes that way, that would be fantastic as well. Right. Because we have so many torpedoes and um, that I actually do think that would be fairly lovely. Right, so yeah, let's try to close in here. Uh, seven minutes already gone. It's a little bit unfortunate that we did uh, start the battle here, turning, pointing away from them, because that is going to take us quite some while to, to get rid of that uh, sort of negative modifier here. Right, okay, you are at least coming sort of close in with these guys. I guess we can uh, go a little bit more like such, and hopefully plot an intercept course here. Now, they are starting to fire now. So it might be time to actually bring ourselves about and target them a little bit more with our broadsides um, instead of risking a couple of hits here from their side. Now I don't think our rear guns here are firing at all. But maybe the last one there is. So yeah, it is time I think to come a little bit more about like that. We can bring down the speed again and that should be okay. Oh, there's our first hit. That's nice to see. 69 damage, that's not a lot, uh, but it is at least a little bit, so that is good to see. Right. Small, small uh, hit there, but a little bit helps, so that might be good. Forward guns firing. Rearward guns are still not in action, though. How's our hit chance here actually looking? We do have over him 2.4%, okay. At least it's like five times what we had before. Uh, on the other hand, they can actually engage us now, so... That is uh, quite a bit of a difference. Right, I do think we need to go further to the right here to open up our rear guns and start dealing quite a bit of damage towards him. Look at that, the actual, uh, actually the light cruiser there is starting to fire too. Uh, so that's a little bit concerning, not too much, but a little bit. You guys would relatively soon come into torpedo range, which is nice to see. And I'm wondering whether we should uh, ask our torpedoes to be launched relatively aggressively. I think we should. Um, so let's go for an aggressive approach here on the torpedoes. Hopefully we're going to hit them at some point. Right. 
Rear guns? No. Still not. Okay, so turn away further. They are still shooting a little bit too far, which is of course very lovely from my perspective. Right, I think we do need to open up a little bit more. Should have waited there for that uh, salvo to finish off, but let's see about that. Kaiser and Augusta is making her way there. Yeah, but we're not really accurate either. Look at look at these shells coming in. I don't think they're going to be anywhere close to that ship. No. We might want to target the light cruisers here because they have lost their steam ability. Their first hit here on us, not too much damage, so that is encouraging. Uh, but, yeah. Right. Okay, that's still only the forward facing guns. We might want to start targeting the light cruiser here. Don't, still don't know much about them. Okay, there's another fire starting. That is generally not that great. Okay, let's do open up further. We're seeing too many hits uh, from their side now. Right, how about torpedo range? Just barely not. And then again, even if we were in torpedo range, that wouldn't mean that really our torpedoes could range, uh, reach them. Come on, you do need to get rid of these pilots, please. We do have a lot of bulkheads and stuff, so I think we should be fine. Okay, that last turret there doesn't seem to be in action, but I think the other ones are. So that at least is good. Come on, 3.6%. We've got a 20% chance to hit him on a single salvo. Here. Even though, I mean, we're not going to fire a full salvo, but you know what I mean. Right. I think you're still the best target for our torpedo, so I'm going to hold off on, on shifting targets to the other guy here. It would be lovely if that one turret can't engage anyone, but at least engage the light cruiser here. Right, come on. We are close to our maneuvering speed. We should have a fairly decent chance of hitting them now. So I'm going to dial up the speed here a little bit. We are already 13 minutes in, so not that great really. Not that great at all. Now, if we were to shift targets... We would have a chance of providing more, of, of shooting more guns on this guy. Yeah, you can see just one of the, one of the turrets was immediately in action. Okay, he's now smoking, so we can shift fire back towards him. That's not necessarily efficient, but it's what we need to do, I think. Right. Okay, you're almost into torpedo range. Almost. But not quite. There come a couple of shells his way. Yeah. It just might be that we need to be much more aggressive. So, question is... Okay, he's still smoking. Once he stops smoking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn inwards to the heavy cruiser and I'm going to start firing on this guy. Um, that would allow us to potentially still fire with a lot of guns on him, but still come up his way. Our speed is still very lovely, so that's good. Ooh, there's damage to a main tower. That's not good. That's not good at all. Right, I don't want to start a fire at him now because he is in, again in smoke, so yeah, that's just not going to be that useful. Right. Still, we are closing in, so that is good. Five point three and eleven kilometers. It should be okay ish. It should be. But is it? We could try to hit him with a couple of torpedoes. It would certainly be relatively bad for him. Yeah, we are being hit now by six inch guns. Yeah, we need, might need to bring up our speed here. I'm, I'm too much used to just winning the fight instead of winning it quickly. Um, so, yeah, let's bring that actually up. Start to try to get a little bit closer towards him. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, get rid of him. Right, you can't smoke anymore, can you? Okay, we're going to shift fire here. 
Uh, but I'm going to ask you guys, uh, your torpedoes, to be still... Oh, no, you actually did launch your torpedoes there. Um, unfortunate, but I think it's going to be all right. Um, let's see what is going to happen, whether we're going to do anything here. Uh, but that does mean I don't actually want to damage him too much, because if we're going to damage him, the intercept here with these torpedoes is not going to work anymore. So, yeah, in fact, we do need to shift our target back towards the heavy cruiser here. Slightly chaotic, I know, uh, but that's just how it is. Otherwise, if we... Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Flooding and rudder damage. 95% on him now. Still doing a little bit better than we are, but I think that's going to change very very rapidly now. Right, and we are down to 10.4 kilometers. We might actually want to cut in behind him, because that might mean that we're going to get uh, the torpedoes on the other side of our um, ship here into action. That would be kind of lovely. I do not think that these guys are going to hit him at all. But you know what? They just might. Oh, look at that. He's actually he's suffering from a lot of flooding here. Um, so if that's the case, I'm going to open up the range here. Hoping to maybe, maybe um, achieve some more hits here by our rear turrets. We're down to 94%. That's really not good. And damage to our main turrets, which is really the big issue here. But yeah, if we can force his flooding to, to sort of increase here, that would mean that we could potentially get rid of him extremely quickly now. Um, and that would indeed be extremely lovely as well. Right, let's try to finish him off. I think we should have all of our guns engaging him. Yeah, there we go. That's a good... That's a large salvo, at least, even if it's not a good one. No, but some of them... No. Not at all. How are our torpedoes doing? Nice and widespread, though. Um, and I think they are the oxygen torpedoes, so that might mean that he's not going to see them... Fast in the north. Another mid tower here. We are still on fire. He's repaired his engine damage and he's just generally starting to regain his, his uh, flotation. So his pumps are kicking into action and I think we might have missed our window of opportunity here um, of really sinking very rapidly. If we only got a couple of good shots in now, that would, that would do a lot for us, but they would need to increase his uh, flooding and they don't. So, yeah. That's, unfortunately, a no. Right. So, if that's a no, then I'm going to start to come around a little bit again. Hoping to maybe do something against him. Okay, he is presumably going to dodge all of these uh, torpedoes, which is sort of to be expected. But still a little bit unfortunate. Okay, 20, 23 minutes already here. This is kind of stressful. I would never have imagined uh, that playing for time can be so much more stressful. But yeah, you can see he's regained all of his flotation. And there comes the flooding hit, uh, which is nice, but just way too late. So, yeah, that is that is kind of unfortunate. Right, torpedoes. Yeah, not going to do anything. Very, very unfortunate. Um, how fast are you, actually? 31 knots, so almost as fast as us. There's another flooding hit. And if we had achieved these hits before, that would have been all the difference here. That would have been, that would have been a death spell for him. Um, and it might already be, it might be now, he's, he's coming down here very rapidly, uh, but he might still recover, and that's always... Oh no, there's another flooding hit. So that does tell me he's probably going to go down very soon. Yeah, there we go. So that is lovely. Let's shift targets then towards this light cruiser here, who's actually not got any torpedoes. Um, so if that's the case, we're going to shift... We're going to basically sail directly towards you. In fact, might even go that way. We're going to go a little bit faster here. Um, you've presumably dodged all of these torpedoes fired at you. Yeah, so we're now going to start to fire at you. Uh, because that will just be a much better opening here, I think. 4.7 there. 3.6 there. But we've got a lot more um, sort of tubes going that way. We're also sending a couple more torpedoes. That must be in the underwater tubes. Not sure why they didn't fire before. Uh, but they just didn't. So, yeah, there we go. Right, okay, so first one hit here. Our structural integrity is still 90%, so that is good. That's at least good enough. Okay, some flooding here on him. That might have been a nice hit. Slow, gonna slow him down a little bit too. Um, and just gonna provide further problems against him. Which is nice. So, by the way, all of our turrets are facing his way. Yeah, kind of. Not that one, but... Other than that, everyone. So maybe just go straight now. 
And I think he should be starting to come towards us. Yeah, okay, some engine damage on his side. That is good to see. Um, everything that is going to slow him down is going to make him an easier target. And that, of course, is what we want. Right. In fact, our three-inch guns might soon open on him, which is going to be interesting. Yeah, and they did completely go without any torpedoes, so we might have completely uh, gotten rid of all of our torpedo protections, in fact. But yeah. Can we see any three-inch guns coming in here now? Yeah, you can see just some, some very small arms fire basically coming in. Right. Of course, it's not quite small arms fire, but yeah, you can see his, his flooding is kind of dramatically bad. Come on, just go down. Just go, just do it. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay, so 29 minutes and one target to go. And um, let's try to get him with basically everything that we've got. Um, and I'm going to come in sort of towards this direction here. And then we're going to see whether or not that is going to work. Um, right, let's bring down the speed here towards sort of normal. I do think we should be able to just launch torpedoes his way. Uh, but presumably... We're not going to, because he's sort of on an awkward angle here. But I'm not sure. All of our turrets are going to take a while here to come around and swing about to his direction. We've got 12% damage, and we are well capable of enough speed here. Um, so that should be fine. Our turrets are now more or less pointing towards him. I would really, really like to our torpedoes to, to open up here. Um, and just make it a little bit more difficult for him he as such. Our torpedoes can fire, so I think that should be okay. Just fire on, on him with everything. Right, um, let's actually shift that here to, to aggressive. Maybe that's going to push him over. Yeah, our three-inch guns are not opening fire on him. That's interesting. And we haven't scored a hit yet, but we had 11% hit chance here for each and every hit. So that is good to see. Right, come on, come on, torpedoes. Why are you not firing torpedoes? Okay, we need to shift course here a little bit once that Kaiserin Augusta has sort of turned a little bit over there, or at least has fired, and then we're going to turn a little bit over here. Come on, come on. There, we... Why are you not firing? That's weird. Okay, let's come about here. We're gonna go aggressive on all of these dimensions. Really not sure why you're not firing on him more. If we were to slow him down, that would of course mean that our torpedoes would become extremely effective. Come on. Kaiser and Augusta. We've got a lot of guns ready. Five guns. Two of them are, I think, damaged, but I think they're not out of action. So let's see. He's completely on skates for now. 23 minutes. Uh, sorry, 33 minutes. And I'm really interested to see how the other guys uh, do. The one thing that's annoying to me is that we did start uh, facing away from the enemy, and they actually were facing away from us too. So it did take a lot longer. Uh, to actually close in with the range. Why on earth are you not firing? I don't get that. Something is off here. We're, are we in some way locked due to these turrets being somewhat awkwardly positioned? We might. I might have ducked myself a hole there. Right, let's try to turn around over here present our other side towards the enemy and see whether that is going to do us uh, much better. Well, there we go, a couple of uh, turrets are now firing. Still really awkwardly out of range. Oh, with a very oblique angle. Oh, come on, come on. You just need to take him out. We can be very happy that they don't have any torpedoes, but then again, I wouldn't do any of these maneuvers if they did. So, yeah, there we go. But yeah, you can see, we've got the 11-inch guns completely silent. Completely not doing anything. Even though they are set too aggressive. What do you actually have in terms of... You don't have that much. Come on, guys. 
you should be able to, to take them out. Maybe our setup here was a little bit too weird. Have two of the torpedo tubes. Not good, but not that bad either. Come on. Yeah, just the frontal turret just the frontal um, turrets are firing. Yeah, I think the, the rear turret configuration here might have been a mistake. He's of course now in smoke, so we don't we can't target him that easily. But come on. Just come on. Why are you, why are you doing that to me? Just a single turret firing every now and then. You actually need to manually It feels almost like you need to manually target him, like click it. If this was World of War uh, World of Warships or anything. Right, come on. Very, very awkward fighting over here. Come on, just do me a full salvo now. You can fire. I, I should have picked some auto fire. We did have two points left, but I was afraid that our our armor would not hold on, and that we would be losing because of the fifty percent issue. Yeah, sometimes it does feel like there's an extra fire here when I do click him. Oh, weird. That's weird. I never noticed that. Oh, there we go. That's the first good hit, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Just slow him down. If we slow him down, I'm sure that we can torpedo him, at the very least. I mean, it's not the most elegant solution. It certainly is a solution. He's not going that fast, is he? I think he's going barely faster than us. So if we most over him, yeah, he's he's a little bit faster than us. So he's going to the right there. That does mean he's a little bit faster than us. And um, let's actually bring up our speed then, and just open this up so that maybe at least we can score a couple of hits here. It's really what we do need. Come on, come on. Just hit him with something. Jesus. And he's just very, very fast. There we go, that's a good hit. 74% and he's burning. So maybe he's gonna lose some speed. If we only hit his engine, that would be great. He's actually hit us there. Oh, that looks nice. Ah, just barely not. Just barely not. Come on, come on. That's so frustrating. Okay, let's turn this off here for a second. Just until this is reloaded, and then I'm going to turn it on again. In the hope that we're going to fire full salvo here. Come on. Why are you not firing? This is so, so odd. And of course he's smoking again. Yeah. I think he's actually trying to keep the range close to us though. So, just maybe that's going to work. What if we turn a little bit away from him? Come on. He's down to 74%, but the last one here is is by far the most the most difficult one that is gonna take us the most time. How frustrating is that? An okay hit there. Not a not a great one, mind you, but a good one. Come on, Kaiser and Augusta, you can do it. But I do not know why I need to spur you to to fire all the time. Clearly, you're not firing. You're not firing sort of your main guns here. At least not all of them.
Yeah, but that clearly seems to be when I click, it does it does shoot another time. Okay, there's another hit there. Over my penetration, only 21 damage. But so close. So so close. He's got barely any NA ammo, so what actually happens if we do turn this to HE? Would that do more damage? Good hit there. That's at least okay. Not sure why we're not firing at any torpedoes. Yeah, that's just way too far behind him. I mean, he's still extremely fast. That's that's the big issue here. Ah. Come on, at least I want to do it faster than an hour. It's probably still going to be embarrassingly slow compared to the other guys. I should not have spent so much on the armor. I should have spent much more on um, on sort of short-range guns and, and that to just get rid of the light cruisers here. I was lucky in one thing, and that is that they don't have torpedoes, because otherwise we would not have made it so, so close in anyway. Oh, steering is, is damaged. That's lovely. That's That's a good sign there. That is going to present some problems to me. And he is starting to take some water, so that too is is very nice. There was a good hit there at some point, um, but is it going to be enough? No, he's, he's recovering from that flow damage already, so his pumps are pretty, doing pretty good already. Which honestly always feels a little bit arcadey. It's, it's just too fast. I mean, if you have a lot of water ingress that you're almost going down, you're not going to fix that in, like, five minutes. Well, that does, I think, affect everyone, so... Can't complain about it too much. Right. Come on. Just give me one or two more good hits. At least one on the engine would be lovely. And he started to smoke again. Fire flooding, flooding is good. That's ah, and and engine damage. I think that's going to be that's going to be the critical factor here, which is going to bring him down because he's going to lose speed. He's going to be easier to hit. He's losing. He's taking on a lot of water now. That might actually kill him already. Um, and yeah, I do think so. No, no, no. He's recovering from the water, but two of his engines are down, and that alone is extremely good news for us. Okay, he's repaired one of them. But I'm not sure he'll be able to take out the other. Okay. Let's do go for him. I'm, I'm starting to lose my patience here. Maybe somewhere over there. We are still at 79%, so we should be okay here. Come on, just a couple of hits, just a couple of them. Engine 1 damaged, engine 2 damage would be so, so great. He's just very fast. I mean, 40 knots, that's that's quite a speed. We would not have needed that much ammo, too. But, it's no avail. We only have one try. There we go, flooding. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, but it's over now already. Very, very unfortunate. But at least, I mean, this is this is very good. I mean, we are much, much faster than we need to be. Yeah, and he's, he's recovering already again. But there we go. That will do him, I think. That should bring him down. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, one hour, three minutes, and 50 seconds. I'm very curious to see how the other guys are going to do. You're going to find uh, a link to that channel down in the description below. And that is going to be fine. Um, and I do notice that we are also at the one hour mark here with a video. So that's great to see. We're not going to play again. But very happy to see that. So thank you very much for watching guys. We're going to do something similar next Tuesday. Um, and yeah, hope to see you then. Bye bye.